Howdy friends, Todd is here. Your insomniac next door, your fellow companion, fellow sufferer, but it's not going to get it because this video is uh, why you should never ever give up on looking for causes and source of your suffering and your insomnia. I've had it for about five years myself and I finally feel like there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And uh, there are tons of days where I felt like I was ready to give up because nothing was working. In fact, much worse. Uh, whatever I was doing, it was making me worse. I was losing even more sleep. And it felt like, um, like I was cursed. There is no other term to describe it. Things were falling apart. Your body is breaking down. I've lost all my weight. Still haven't gained it back. Um, seems like your world is crashing down on you. And uh, as you've figured out by now, every time you, you emerge from a bed, or from a sleepless night, it's a, it's a trauma to our bodies, to our mind, to our souls. It's a very, it's a very traumatic event and should be treated as that. The doctors won't look at it this way, but you should, and you and I should, because that, that really kicks in a, a whole different uh, sense of uh, a different level of uh, taking care of ourselves. And uh, the things that the things that helped the most, it wasn't some random supplement or something like that. The way uh, I looked for answers, uh, it was like a fly hitting against the window constantly, you know, and to the point of exha exhaustion. And uh, when I look back now, um, I found it, I found many answers by pure luck, what I call, but it wasn't luck. And let me explain real quick. Uh, I'm a, not a religious guy, very far from it. I'm, I do consider myself a, a spiritual guy. I look at things the way, the way things work in nature, in life, in universe, things such as uh, cause and effect, the way we create our world, the way our mind works, uh, the way interconnected things are overall. And uh, many times I had to just give in, just surrender, not to some God or anything like that, but it was just, just to surrender and say, I'm done, I'm finished. There's got to be something else and, you know, nature is alive. You can, you can see that yourself, you can test that yourself. Uh, there's spirit world all around us uh, and you can appeal to your higher power and ask for help. And higher power is not somewhere out there, out in the cosmos or anything like that. You know, many, many people that have uh, dug deep, they, they can tell that the higher power is within us. It is us, it's just obscured by many things, like many disturbing emotions, dualistic, all sorts of crazy, irrational thinking, uh, many different things that are that are that work as a veil for that inner power but the way it really uh, it seems to work is that you just have to be a decent human being and what i mean by that is just you know no matter how crappy we feel we can still treat others with respect we can still treat our bodies with respect and feed things uh, to the body though for healing and especially take care of our minds there are different things i've shared with you in the many in not many but few videos about the qigong and the power of chinese image medicine that i found and most of my <laughs> answer that eventually led me to mercury toxicity um, uh, were, were at a point of me giving up and just asking for help from whatever just surrendering and asking for help and saying please all the spirits of the nature all the all the surround all the the enlightened beings, uh, all my ancestors, spirits, so to speak, 
And I, I, I just said, look, if there's anything you can do, help me. I'll listen, I'm open. And many times, a few days later, I bumped into something like a post about Mercury. You say, oh, join this detox uh, community or, you know, get a genetic test or try this supplement or maybe it's this that's making you crazy and, and, and sleepless and so on. And many times it was spot on and, you know, but the thing is what I'm, what I'm uh, trying to communicate is you, 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 you cannot be afraid to experiment. And many times it will be a fail and sometimes it will be a hit, but that's what it's all about. We could just never give up. I want to assure you there is a reason for your insomnia. There is an absolute reason for your insomnia. There is a physiological, spiritual, mental reason, and you can find it. You just should never ever give up and settle with the fact that, oh, it's, it's, it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. It's, it doesn't have to be that way, and it won't be. You just should never give up and have a mindset that there is a cause for it, there is a reason for it, and you're going to find it. And that's how you should approach this thing. No matter how long it takes, you will find it, okay? So just keep at it. I found it. It took me years. But I found it. my root cause is mercury toxicity. You know, many, I believe many of you will have a root cause in heavy metals as well, especially with the chronic ongoing insomnia uh, with symptoms of just all over the place. Just, it kind of feels like you're possessed and you have no idea what the heck is going on with you. Like you're all over the place with symptoms and doctors are clueless. They're just sending you to another psychiatrist and prescribing another, another antidepressant. So keep in mind, that's it could be metals, heavy metals, it could be other things related to your organs. Uh, you could have had, you know, a, a trauma in your life that's manifesting like this. It's, it's called soul loss. You can look it up and it's a very interesting concept and we'll talk about it later. But for now, I'd like to keep, uh, keep you in my wishes as well, that you get well, that you find the answers that you deserve and you get well eventually and you sleep better, okay? Because we have to. We must. So. We must survive this thing and we must live our lives to the fullest. So. Okay, take care for now. Bye.